might as well head back. There's no getting through that way. What? This area is restricted to civilians. I'm with Task Force 29. I thought maybe I could take a look around. You thought wrong. This is a local investigation. You Task Force guys can go swing your dick someplace else. That's fine, forget it. Done. Bye. Take a step back. Jdeme ty, co to mají na svědomí. Slyšíš to?
area is clear. Am I hearing things? Oh no! Oh no! Got se to teďka bude pořádně mlít. Watch for any clanks that decide to come back. Control, nothing to report. All we need is one little thing right in the arc.
za tohle zaplatili. Smiley, I've got the scan. Yeah? Fantastic! Bring it back to my office and we'll see if I'm right. Copy that. We are wasting time. away. Checking in? Clear. I cannot believe these orcs. If this was only the first attack, I might be able to accept it. The lab gods better find something we can use.
have been nothing. Stay low. <sighs> nothing here. Oh, you should get your ears checked. Zasranej aug ve vagónu pro naturály. Chcete snad vyvolat paniku? Ukažte mi papíry. Dělejte nebo vás seberu. I don't have time to waste with this. Make it fast. Vemte si je a vypadněte. Až příště pojedete metrem, použijte vagón pro augy. Máme svých problémů dost i bez takových potížistů jako jste vy. Jensen, looks like we have a new lead in the case. It's gonna put you inside Gollum City. The Ark Ghetto. What did we get? Intelecam footage from the attack. Chang was able to pull some images from it. Trouble is, our new psychologist needs to clear you Teddy before you go in. So I shouldn't tell her about well, this piece of evidence I've got for Smiley. Humor the bureaucrats, will you? Bring Smiley your evidence and give Ozen five minutes of your time. Call me when it's done. stayed in bed. Adam, I finally decrypted the audio off the whisper chip tap. Fucking cold, man. You gotta hear it. I have my hands full right now. Tell me where you are and I'll come when I can. There's an old limb clinic in the Daphne district. It's closed down. Nobody goes there anymore. I'll be inside. Have the scan. Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left. Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? They didn't seem to be in a talkative mood, so I left them alone. See? Without my expert advice, you might be dead right now, Adam. A stitch in time saves none. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole Ark did it angle. I 
believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it it'll take hours to sift through the data. And, and I'm seeing Sonya later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, I do have other cases to work on, too, Adam. I'll let you know if I... when I find something. You do that. Take it easy. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but... Being there must have... Is that what this is about? No. That was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True. But traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraf Industries Security Division. David Seraf was at the center of America's augmentation debate. David Seraf always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? Certainly didn't seem that way on the day. You were with him then, in Panchea, when the incident happened? They tell me they pulled me out of the ocean, but a year of my life is still a blur. Your memories may come back eventually. And if they do, my door is always open. Should you need to discuss anything? I won't, but thanks. You are very lucky to be alive. Although I'm not so sure the world you've returned to makes you feel that way. You've become the enemy, which... actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But, with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? Doesn't matter what I think about it, Doc. I got a job to do. I'm here to prevent further bloodshed. Which is exactly what I intend to do. I hope that you can. Listen, Adam, I know these kinds of conversations are a pretty major pain in the ass. I really do appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today. Thanks. You mean I had a choice? No. But the sentiment remains. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. By God, 
Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him... Tell him it's just... It's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen. Or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. I'm gonna need more information about this snoop of yours. I don't know for sure that our cover's been blown, but if it has, we need to know before our enemies have a chance to do something about it. You really think there's a risk here? Maybe someone's just poking around the fake website of a fake company. If someone points a gun at me, I assume it's loaded. If someone hacks into the website of the company that serves as our cover, I assume they're doing it for a bad reason. Such as? Everything depends on who they are and what they know. But we're in the business of dealing with terrorists. If those terrorists find out where we are... TF-29 likes its privacy. Sure. More importantly, Chang likes being in one piece. Unlike you, I don't just brush off explosions. You got an ammo in this hacker? At first I thought it might be the Collective. But you're not convinced. Not Janus's style to leave crumbs this big. But whoever it is, they risk exposing us. If the Collective ever found out where we operate... <sighs> My god, Jensen. Maybe Janus knows already. Hey, hey, don't say shit like that. I get nervous enough as it is. What can you tell me about our front company? Praha Dovos was designed to be forgettable. The kind of place you walk by a hundred times and still can't remember. It obviously caught someone's attention. What happens if we're compromised? My guess? We dismantle and disappear. Agents go into hiding, director burrows into some hole, poof. No Christmas party. I need you to find out as much as you can about our snoop. Make sure we're not in danger. Alright, you have any leads? I traced our hacker snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Hall Avenue. Just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day. Probably walks in. You're kidding. See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment, access the computer they used, and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. up at a checkpoint or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. That's quite a look. No. 
Nothing suspicious here. Would you this off to pull this duty? Uh-uh. Areas free of suspicious activity. Just drop it. No one. Glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Oggs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me. Even got the scars to prove it. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating the city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. We've been working together for a few months now. Still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama, and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's, someone in the Collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Vessel Life, and Dubai. Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because ARC don't operate in North America. They're setting up ARC, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. I agree, it doesn't look good. He's pulled me off Dubai, put me on the train station bombing. I think he's about to send me to Gollum City. The Udalek complex? You're not gonna like it there. It was built by the Santo Group as temporary housing for transient workers. But now... Now it's home to every unlicensed dog in the Czech Republic. And it's where Ark's made its headquarters. Shit, man. What are they planning? We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about Versa Life? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. Versa Life is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? Versa Life doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with Ark? Why frame them for break-in? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? 
I'm going to finish my investigation, find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know what I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet... Shop. Your puppet... Pilots en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that.
access granted. Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. A group called Samizdat. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? I'm not sure. They're hiding somewhere in the sewers in the Dovni district. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. Spanish flu. I couldn't imagine what it's like to be all I heard a bunch of runaways live down in the sewer. How did it ever come from? Can't stay in this. to them.
Much said, dog. All I'm, I'm telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. You sure it's not in the wall? Don't shoot. Shit. We're journalists. Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, the, the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who sent you? I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and, the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in the commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? That little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of many. Pull them all back and you'll find them. Dead. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. 
Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? Two men in black types you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What exactly do you do down here? Sam is that is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it, we get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes Media Network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's... there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam as that. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about? Depends on the deal. I need you to stop looking into Brahandovos, but not for the reason you assume. You relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. You've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy. Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Gros and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost.
Fair enough. But there's a difference between speculation and fact. Right now, I'm betting you don't have anything tangible to go on. You don't know who I am, what my role is, or what's really going on. Wait until the facts are out before you go spewing misinformation everywhere. Before you get people killed. Okay, maybe I don't have all the facts yet, I'll give you that, but I know something's going on down there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. That's why you always have to keep digging. The truth, the real truth. It's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. Whatever the cost, is that it? You want to be better than Pikus, right? But what does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Braha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Braha the news. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. Skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar, the Palisade CEO, she leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. We'll see. Check, Dad. Yeah? What do you got for me? Took care of Sam's dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts. I know what I'm doing. I finally got through to my contact and I'm afraid of. He says, fuck off.